is what it is. I'm sitting on a bench. You can hear those crickets. You can see the stars. I'm just chilling. You can see the salsa. <laughs> this is what it is. This is the Churchill, AKA Diplomatico. Um, this was given to me by uh, Slava and all this, but is, that's what happens when you smoke a cigar. This was given to me by uh, Dream Life. So shout out to Dream Life. I know I've had the Series A, the biggest one, and I've had plenty of the Toro size. So have I had this size? Maybe. M maybe. Maybe not. But even if I did have this one, it was not on the regular or recently. I can't recall. Most of the time I get the, you know, the Toro size. Or what is that? Five and a half? I don't know. Or the one that comes in the tube. So anyways, this is Diplomatico. This is his favorite size. I, I thought he said this was his favorite, one of his favorite Padrones. This cigar in this size, in this Padron, I'll tell you what, man, it's impressive. Uh, I mean, it feels and looks like a Patron, but that longer 7x50, it just has a bigger stance. And what a, what a just bold looking cigar. Copious amount of smoke. And what I like about this longer size, and I don't know how much age he has on this, but what I can say is, um, um, what can I say? That it starts off a little more chill than a Padron Maduro 64 normally starts off. Um, and that's maybe due to the longer size. It has more time to build up. And we'll see if it, right now it's a solid medium, tons of milk chocolate. Tons of milk chocolate. Not super spicy. Uh, the, the classical Padron 64, it starts off robust, rich, almost full strength. You know, earth, black coffee, espresso, chocolate, and tons of black pepper. And that's for you. But I mean, a little bit uh, robust and rich uh, notes. So, with this longer size, uh, look how beautiful that thing looks, man. Uh, I'm not sure if he gave these time, six months a year, maybe longer. I, I gotta ask him. Maybe he told me, but I, it's a stupid place, you know. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm human, all right? I, I can forget things, you know. I'm, so I apologize. But yeah, look at that. So we're gonna come back. I'll come back a little bit when this thing picks up. So this is the most chill start to a Padron 64 I ever had. A long, sweet finish, very chocolatey. And we'll see what happens to this. Maybe give it 10 minutes. I gotta say this. Um, Jaw's going perfect. Burns a little wavy. That's probably more on me because I'm just relaxing here and I'm probably not rotating when I'm puffing. But uh, yeah, that's beautiful looking ash. Um, he said he's had this aging for two years. I'm not sure, two years salad or two years and change, I don't know, but two years at least in his humidor. Um, I gotta say, uh, it is much smoother than normal. Um, that's interesting, because I haven't had tons of aged Padron, and not that two years is a significant amount of time, like five or 10, like, but it definitely changed this Maduro enough to where it, it still feels like a Padron 26 Maduro, but it's more refined, it's more smoother, it still has the same notes, the black pepper, chocolate, and everything else, the earth and coffee. The finish is not as heavy right now. And generally aging cigars, the finish always gets weaker. But um, the flavor when I'm puffing it is more in the mouth. I don't feel any, like normally with the Padron 64, you hold that smoke, you'll get like that the, the pepper, the sensation like, um, the pepper and earth almost burning your nose a little bit. You get almost like a wasabi feeling where it's, it's not that kick-ass cigar, but it's definitely intense. So it, it still is a strong, dark cigar, but it's more of a refined cigar now and less intense. So 
is that better or worse? I, I think it's just different. Uh, I think most people that, you know, if they buy a Padron, they're going to smoke it. But if you're collecting, it's something to be aware of. And so if you expect your Padron 64 Diplomatico to stay the same after three, four, five years, it's not. So just, so if you don't mind them changing and you smoke one every few months and enjoy the change throughout the box over the course of, you know, a couple of years, then you're going to be intrigued uh, because time definitely changed this cigar and uh, it changed the original intent because I've only smoked with drones, you know, you know, fresh out, you know, saying no, right from a lounge or, or, you know, you buy them online, whatever, just in general. But I guess two years is enough on this cigar to um, make it more smooth and that changes the cigar. It's going great. I have to come back because you have to see this ash. I am, I am a hand is cockeyed on purpose. I am keeping, you see, so the ash is going to the right, so I bend my hand to the left. I'm trying my best to keep that going. This is the most cockeyed Padron ash I've ever seen. And I'm not sure if it's due to the size or the age on it. I don't know. And uh, Dream Life was saying that he's he had issues trying to grow the ash on this one. The large size. Obviously, the large size is harder to do. Uh, but I've never had a Padron bend that much. Although it seems pretty solid. Although you got a lot of bending right there. Look at that. So we'll come back. The cigar is absolutely delicious. Uh, cigar is going to get a 4.7. It's a very delicious cigar. Very nice cigar. The two years definitely changed it though. So better or worse. Depends what you want. If you just enjoy the cigar. And you want to see change. Yeah. Let them age two years. Uh, along the way though. You might want to smoke some though. If you want to still enjoy that Padron power. Before time uh, smooths it out a little bit. So definitely time smooth it out that ash is crumbling i might have to let that go that ash is like bending as we speak that is the most bent ash. i can't believe we got this far because right there just decided to leaning tower piece my hand i'm count i'm doing engineer work here i'm countering it to the left if i go to the right that's gonna crumble you see that the fissures we'll come back we'll come back The most bent ash of all time. My goodness, look at that ash. Look at this ash. Bent. My hand is bent. See now, if I cock eye, if I cock eye the phone, now you can see the real bent. This thing is bent. Oof, that's about four and a half inches of bent ash. That's now you can see, I have to, if I make the phone the same angle as my hand, now you can see the pen. It's bent. It's bent, bent, bent. It's like a snorkel. Cigar's going great, delicious. I have never had an ash scare me so much. This thing wants to go. It's, it's bent backwards, it's bent on an angle. There's nothing straight about this ash. It's the most four five one inch. I mean, it's bent back and bent to the left. So my hand is 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 cockeyed back and cockeyed down. You know, really, I'm cockeying my hand back and away to try to compensate for the ash. I literally have to mimic the ash in the opposite. So the ash is going back, so my my hand's going forward away from the ash. But it's cockeying. You see that? It's not picking. Trust me, this thing's like a spiral. This is an impossible ash. I should probably drop it. I don't know how it's holding on. I don't know how that's holding on. Holy shit. And it's it's down. Uh, in between takes there, I had to just put it down. It was so cockeyed, so twisted, so going in all different directions. And I it was splitting right here. Like it was like, the cherry was like, the ash was separated from the cherry. I, I had to put it down. So before it fell on my face, that's that. Over the balcony it went. So anyways, amazing construction that that thing held on with that level of twist. Why it was twisted so much? Maybe Padron with the underpacking on most of their cigars, like the 64 and 26, maybe it just couldn't support the weight and or maybe the time as the, the tobacco just kept on, 
guess. You know, with time deteriorates everything. Maybe he just lost the strength for the uh, cigar. I don't have an answer on that. Cigar smokes like a chimney, zero touch-ups. It's a marvelous cigar, 4.7. I'll say this, if you want full robust Padron, don't age your Padron, it's just smoke. However though, uh, if you do want to see what happens with two years on this cigar, I can firmly say two years on this cigar significantly changes the feeling, not the blend, it feels the same cigar, but the way it's gonna hit you. Um, it's almost like putting a suppressor. It, it definitely smooths and quiets the cigar a little bit, but still a, a dark, strong cigar. It's, it's going to get more, more chocolatey, more sweet, and definitely the spice and earth is there, but it calms down. And the finish uh, is is quicker uh, with two years of age. We're done here. Dream life, much appreciated. Uh, I needed the cigars. I sit by my brothers. Dying tomato plants, the season's over. Anyways, wish you guys the best, stay fresh. My trip here is about over. I have one more day with my daughter and I leave on Sunday, so Richie's got feelings.